Welcome to my YouTube channel and today I want us to make sugarless but very tasty mandazi with cinnamon. This is something that you can do on the weekends to prepare breakfast for your family. They get to enjoy some tasty vibes with less sugar, less calories and such. So it's also high protein because it's going to have milk and eggs. I hope you get to enjoy it. So these are the simple ingredients that we're going to use for our mandazis. I'll be using four eggs, uh, three cups of 250 ml of the X fortified flour. And then I'll be using one cup, that is to 50 ml of milk, one tablespoon of the baking powder, a pinch of salt. I usually don't add sugar. I prefer to add cinnamon for flavor and taste because it is very tasty and it is very healthy. And yeah, we'll be using two cups, the 50 ml of oil to fry. I'll be adding uh, fat later and then this is our mixing bowl. So let's start. In your mixing bowl, measure the three cups of the self-raising flour. Uh, don't let it uh, be so full, just let it be standard size. Three cups, three cups is enough for like, for mandazi for a family of four, for two or three days. Add some cinnamon, add some cinnamon for taste and flavor, then add your salt, so for taste and preservation, and then you do one tablespoon of the baking powder, then you mix your dry ingredients well. And then let's now start adding our eggs. You can mix the, egg, the eggs on a separate dish, then you add to the mixture, but I prefer to mix it directly. Then slowly just mix the eggs into the flour. And then measure your one cup of milk, that is 250 ml. You can do more if you like more mandazis, and then you definitely do more flour. But I wanted some, I don't want to do so much, so I wanted to do some kidogo for four days. So one cup is enough. It will, it will mix well with the three cups of flour. And yeah, now start your mixing. With clean hands, start the kneading process, making sure that you mix all the ingredients well in the bowl. And knead until well soft. You can add some flour so that it doesn't, you don't make it too hard or too soft because it's, uh, it's not, we're not going to make hard cakes. We are making mandazis that can be eaten and you're also not going to make some kaimati so you don't want it to be so soft. So just equate apokatikati in the middle. Yeah? Then add two cups of oil or two, two rifuni kombili za mafuta eh, to your dough and then continue with the mixing until well blended and well soft. When your dye is ready, you know the dye is ready when it stops sticking on your hands, get a clean kitchen cloth or you can use foil. We were out of foil so we used the cloth. Then cover and leave it for like 30 to 60 minutes. In a clean cooking pot that is dry, add some oil, then you put it on the stove. Then our oil was out so we had to add some fat because the economy does not allow us to fry with oils only. So we added two big spoons of kasuku. Check on your dye, you can add some kidogo flat so that to make it uh, less sticky or something. Just make sure it's well blended and well mixed before you start frying your mandazis. You should have something like this, something that is not sticking on the bowl, on the mixing bowl, or your new hands. Eh? Partition the dye into two, then start working on it differently. Okay, kanda. Eh? Size or you make sure that you let your oil, your oil is still on the stove so that it is frying, so that you start cooking our mandazis. Use a knife or a dough cutter to partition the dough that you make kanda. You can do different shapes, different sizes. Just uh, some, whatever works for you, whatever the size that you're going to fry with. Eh? The baby was tasting for us. Over here we were checking Kama Mafute Meshika Moto because it is very important to avoid having uh, uncooked mandazis on the inside. Eh? To have the Mafute Kiwa Moto Vizuri. So just confirm that before you start cooking. 
cook them and does as well allowing them to brown on each side well eh? so that they cook both on the inside and the outside once cooked store well and serve well and enjoy your mandazis thanks for watching that is the end product i hope you enjoy it